Hello, this video is about how to install Ubuntu 15.10 desktop into VirtualBox. The outcomes for this video include download Ubuntu 15.10 desktop from the internet, create a virtual guest in VirtualBox for the Ubuntu 15.10 desktop, install Ubuntu 15.10 desktop into VirtualBox as a guest, update and upgrade Ubuntu 15.10 desktop, and finally install VirtualBox guest editions. Requirements would be a host computer with administrative privileges, Windows 7 is used in this video, an internet connection, VirtualBox 5.0.10 or higher installed on the host computer, and enough RAM, random access memory, and storage to run both the host and guest computers. Additional info, got some Ubuntu pages, Wikipedia, and finally there's an article 10 things to do after installing Ubuntu 15.10 Wiley Werewolf. Finally, there's a disclaimer. While I've researched this material, I can't fully verify that will work with all combinations of hardware and software out there. So, I've included a disclaimer. If you wish, you can stop the video and read the disclaimer. Here I am at the latest Ubuntu download page. I guess they're trying to sell a phone in Russia. We're going to download, or I'm going to download Ubuntu 15.10. So I go over to download section and then click on desktop. Now I've got two choices here, 14.04 and 15.10. In my case, I'm going to download 15.10. And I'm going to download the 64-bit. So you do have a choice to download 32-bit if you don't have a 64-bit host machine. We'll click download. Ubuntu asks for you to donate some money to their cause. In my case I'm going to click on not now take me to the download and up pops a window and I'm going to click on save the file and make sure that save file is selected and click OK. And then I'm going to kind of take the download to where I want it. In my case it's Downloads Ubuntu Ubuntu 15.10 desktop. I've already created all these folders. And I'm just going to click on save the file. Now if you look over here, it says 13, 10 minutes. So this is a fairly fast connection. I've had it go up to 23 minutes or 46 minutes, depending on how the connection is made. I'm not going to have you watch this download, but I'll come back when it's uh, almost downloaded. Now I have about 8 seconds left. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So Ubuntu is downloaded. Here I am in Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager and I'm going to create a virtual machine to install Ubuntu 15.10 on. So I click New to pull up a wizard. And I'm going to call this Base Ubuntu 15.10 DT for desktop. And I'm going to choose Linux here and then Ubuntu 64 bit. Click Next. And I'm going to give it 1024 of megabytes of memory because I always like to give it a little bit extra because minimum, sometimes things don't always work right. Click Next. And here I'm going to create a virtual hard disk now. I'm going to increase the size to 20 gigabytes here in a second. Create. And I'm going to use VMD virtual machine disk because I'm going to integrate this with Vagrant but for your case you may just want to use VDI that would be the default click next and it's going to be dynamically allocated disk basically what that means the disk size will increase as you add more files and you won't be using a lot of disk space on your host machine click next and here I'm going to change this to 20 gigabytes that way you can do some installation and, and play around with this machine a little bit. Click Create. And here it is, Base Ubuntu 15.10 DT. I'm going to make some changes here. I'm going to go to Storage. And where it says Controller IDE, and then click Empty. I'm going to click Live CD DVD. And I'm going to have it look for the place where the... Uh, 1510 desktop is. In my case I've done this before so it's right here but I'm going to go through the process here and choose virtual optical disk file and here it is it's in 
volume to F downloads Ubuntu Ubuntu 15.10 wherever you downloaded it that's where it should be and then click open and that's okay I like to go to a display and enable 3D acceleration and give it as much video memory as I can in this case it's 128 megabytes click OK and over here in system I like to go over here and in processor if you download 32-bit I would enable PAE NX physical address extension and then acceleration make sure these two are checked if not you're not going to be able to run a 64-bit machine unless those two are checked if this is grayed out then you don't have a 64-bit machine or you don't have virtualization enabled so I'm gonna click OK and that'll be it for creating a virtual machine next step would be to install Ubuntu here is the base Ubuntu 1510 desktop machine right click on it wherever it is on in your case and do a normal start and it's going to go through some screens here and finally Ubuntu will show up let me just maximize this now it's taking about a minute and a half to get to this screen so I'm going to click install Ubuntu because that's the choice what I'm going to do and here he talks about some minimum specifications and we've got the 6.9 gigabytes drive space and it is connected to the internet by default with VirtualBox and I'm going to click download updates while installing and install third-party software and click on continue and basically it asks if you want to erase disk and install Ubuntu now as far as the disk being erased if you've got everything set up correctly what you will be erasing is the virtual disk that you created inside of VirtualBox. If you're not doing this inside VirtualBox, you may erase your entire Windows operating system. So make sure you're running this install inside VirtualBox. And then click on Install Now. And it says if you continue, the changes listed below will be written to the disks. And I'm going to click Continue and it, it will try to go to the internet to pick out where your time zone is you may have to change this in my case it's correct continue then ask for a keyboard layout and that will vary from country to country in my case it's English US and then English US I'm going to click continue I'm going to put in some information and computer's name should all be lowercase Base Ubuntu 15.10 DT for desktop whatever you want to name your machine I'm going to use a username of Mike and then I unfortunately use a very weak password because I have all these virtual machines I don't let them run around in the wild if you're going to use your virtual machine for something else besides playing around with I would suggest a stronger password with at least capital and lowercase letters numbers and then special characters like dollar or pound then click continue if you want to while it's loading you've got a little slideshow you can watch and it talks about how you can find more software than it which is installed talks a little bit about music photos something about the web Firefox web browser or Chromium and then the LibreOffice suite now also with LibreOffice they got calc and impress there is a LibreOffice uh, dbase database also that you can also download assistive technology and you can get some information out there if you wish this is going to continue installing and I'll come back whenever there's a screen that may need some information or 
it's a little bit different. After copying files, installing system will show up right here. And that's going to take another 15 minutes or so. After about 15 minutes, you'll get a message saying installation is complete. You need to restart the computer in order to use a new installation. We'll click restart now. And sometimes this hangs up. We'll see if it does. And if it does, I'll show you what to do. So here it is. It's hung up. And what you're going to have to do is you're have to, going to have to go over here to File, Close, and then click on Power Off the Machine. Don't worry about saving the machine state. It's going to be saved for you. Click OK. So now it's shut off. Once it's shut off, go over here to Storage and Controller IDE and just select where the... And now this time, choose your host drive D or whatever your CD-ROM DVD drive is. So that what we're doing is we're removing the uh, ISO file from the DVD. And click OK. Now if you go ahead and start it, do a normal start again. So after about a minute or two, you'll notice that you get a login screen. Put in your password and Of course, you have to enter it correctly. So here's Ubuntu 15.10 started and running. Now in the next section, what I'm going to do is make sure it's got all the updates and upgrades. Here's Ubuntu 15.10 just after I've installed it. And I want to make sure it's got all the updates and upgrades. So I'm going to go click here on the search and I'm going to click on or actually look for software updater and you can type the whole thing in and then I'm just gonna click on this one where it says software updater and let that come up this is actually running quite slow and I would recommend going at least to two gigabytes of uh, RAM to get this to work a little bit quicker says update software has been issued and I'm just simply going to click install now and let it do its work. You may have to enter your password for the software updater to fully function. Here's that window and I'll come back when it's fully installed. Now you notice as downloading a Linux image, which basically means that it's going to require a restart after all the updates and upgrades are installed. And I'll come back when it's ready to do that. Now after the install of all the updates and upgrades, the computer needs to restart to finish installing updates. Again, I think this may hang up. Click on restart now. It's restarting by itself. Okay. Password. Okay, so now it's restarted. So here's a Ubuntu 15.10 running. It's been upgraded, updated. So the next thing I need to do is go over here to Devices and insert Guest Edition CD image. You'll notice this is on the Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager. Click on this in about 10 seconds. It says VBox Editions contains software you tend to be automatically started. Would you like to run it? Just simply click yet run. Again you have to enter your password and this will install the VirtualBox Guest Editions. Now we're not at full screen here yet but once VirtualBox Guest Editions is installed and you've restarted your Ubuntu 15.10 machine 
and we'll go to full screen. Now it says the headers for the current running kernel will not found if the following module compilation fails and this could be the reason. Normally you don't have to worry about this and it will take about two or three minutes to get this installed and you'll be looking at a screen where nothing is happening but don't worry about it. Okay, finally it says press return to close this window. Hit return. And then we'll do a restart again. Shut down. And come over here and do a restart. When we come back up, we should have a full full screen. And here we have a full screen. Enter my password. If you want to, remove your, eject your VirtualBox Editions CD, DVD. Open up your system settings. And you can make some changes here. In appearance, I'll make launcher icon size about 36 if I want to change my screen. Go back to all settings. Interesting. It's not going back to all settings. It should go back to all settings. Here it comes. It's just very slow. Again, it's at 1024 of megabytes. I'm definitely going to have to add some more memory to this machine. And let's go back to appearance, behavior. I like to show the men menus for a window in a Windows title bar. Let's see if I can go back. Okay, here I go back to all settings, no problem. Must be in that screensaver. And security and privacy. When searching in the dash, include online search results. I like to leave that off. But that could be your setting, wh however you want to do it. You can play around with the settings, and if you s screw something up real bad, well, you just have to reinstall your entire virtual machine, add some accounts or whatever you want to do. Thank you.